All right, guys, next target here. Um, I'm probably no more than uh, about eight, ten feet away from where I dug that bullet. And I got a 78 to 80 on the F75 here. So I knew this was going to be big brass. Uh, either that or like a big copper or something like that. But just the sound of it, I knew it was going to be big. And sure enough, man, this is so cool. Um, you see it down there sitting in the bottom of the hole. Welcome everyone back to Tag Team Recoveries. Uh, today uh, I'm getting a little bit of hunting in on a home site that I found a couple years ago and I normally don't hunt this time of year because of snakes, ticks and all that good stuff but it's kind of cool today. It's right at the end of May so I'm going to get into this home site here and see what I can pull out. Uh, last time we went in here uh, we did get some bullets, uh, a couple of coins and some other miscellaneous stuff so we're gonna see what we can get into um the home site does date back to about 1820s so uh hopefully we'll get into something good in here Alrighty, guys thanks for coming in checking us out and we will see you guys shortly all right guys uh, my first signal here uh, some kind of rolled up piece of brass uh, not sure what that is but she's tacoed pretty good um, actually it looks like there's a hole in it right there. Let's see if I can get that dirt out. Oh no. Almost looks like a, either a rosette or a pommel. It's a little pistol or something. But that is pretty cool. That's a nice little chunk of brass right there. We'll take that. And let us move on to the next target, guys. Alrighty. See you shortly. Alrighty, guys. Next target here. Uh, this was coming up roughly about 52 to 55. Uh, down no more, probably about 6 inches or so. If you take a look, I can see it sitting down there in the bottom. Looks like I'm going to have my first button. It's still got a shank on the back of it. But that is cool. Uh, looks like it's brass too, so that's all right. So that's about 1810 to probably about 1830, something like that. But that is cool. All right, very nice, man. I like that. All righty. Well, let me get off to the next one, and we'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys. Next target here. Small brass. Any hemp sitting right here. Looks like a little half ball button. Um, shank is broke off the back of it. But uh, yeah, it's probably no more about 15, 16 millimeters there. I don't see anything on the face of it. But that could have been women's clothing, blouse, or something like that. You know, a lot of people like to say ball buttons are all zoo offs, but. In this situation, me being up in a home site here, this particular button is definitely civilian use and not a zoo off button. All right, so you got to take everything in context where you find it at and what else is around it. So, but we find a lot of these in home sites, but that is cool, cool little piece. All righty, we'll see y'all shortly. Alrighty guys, next target here, uh, hitting roughly uh, between 38 and 42, uh, it wasn't down that deep, uh, probably no more, about 6 inches or so, but got another button here, and that looks cool, doesn't look like there's going to be anything on it, but just a typical flat button from around 1820s to 1830s, the shank still stand up on the back of it. That is cool. Hopefully that's got a good bat mark on it. Uh, but I like that. Alrighty. 
very good all right guys well let's get off to the next one and we'll see y'all shortly all right guys got another target here let's see what we got all right pull some more out Some beautiful. Ooh, there it is. What is that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nice little drop bullet. And that looks like a 44 caliber Colt pistol round. That is cool. There's some beautiful soil up in here too, man. It's really sandy and loose. I like that. That is cool. Yep, Civil War era 44 caliber cult. All right, cool. We'll take that and let's head off to the next one, guys. All righty, good start here. See you on the next one. All right, guys, next target here. Um, I'm probably no more than uh, about eight, ten feet away from where I dug that bullet and I got a 78 to 80 on the F75 here so I knew this was going to be big brass uh, either that or like a big copper or something like that but just the sound of it I knew it was going to be big and sure enough man this is so cool um, you see it down there sitting in the bottom of the hole but I am roughly down the length of that pinpointer and just a little bit more with the thickness of the mulch and stuff like that so probably about 10 inches or so but this is this is cool this is a nice early piece here see it sitting down there look at that that is a early early colonial rosette what we call an open works rosette and that is probably close to 8, 1720s or so. Maybe even a little bit earlier. But man, that is that thing is a monster, man. I love that. What a killer, killer find. That thing should clean up nice, too. You see where the stud is right there in the back? Well, it went on the um, gear there. But it was a stud that fixed it to it. But it's got some beautiful detailed spiral artwork and stuff in it. But, yeah, you know, it's definitely it's what they call an open works, kind of like some of the buttons and stuff uh, later on called open works. But, anyhow, that is super, super cool. I cannot wait to get that thing cleaned up. That is sweet. All right. Good deal, man. Yep, that is sweet. All righty, guys. We'll check you on the next one. See you on a little bit. Alrighty, well, been picking through a bunch of iron and stuff, and got a nice signal that was in between. It looked like a couple of nails and maybe an iron spike or something. But uh, this is very typical for home site hunting. Um, and when I show you here, you'll see and understand. But you see that little smiley face brass right there? You know what that is? Well, I tell you what that is. That is what we call a toe tap. And that is really cool. But that would go on the end of their shoes. to keep the end of their shoes from wearing out. Kind of like heel plates. The brass heel plates and stuff. But uh, yeah. That is pretty cool. And there's holes that will be aligned in the front of that right there. And that's how they stitched it to their brogans. 
but um, this is not military use. Uh, the brass is way too soft and way too thin for it to be on a soldier's boot. And the same thing with the brass heel plates that you see people find. Most of those go on women's shoes. But um, I find more of these in home sites than I do in any campsite, any battlefield area. So these are definitely civilian use only. But it is still a cool piece. I like it. And I think you can just start seeing the holes where the stitching went for it. But that's cool. I like that. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to pick through some more of this iron here. See what else is in here. And we will see you on the next one, guys. Alrighty. I'm going to tell you something, though. That was some good headphones right there. I've been using these, shoot, 15 years. And some good headphones but anyhow next target here got another button and this is a small cuff button and look don't look like there's anything on the face of it but wedged in that dirt on the back I would say that the shank is most likely there so I'll toothpick that when we get home and make a mess with that here but that's all right very good. Alrighty. Another one for the pouch there. Alright guys. Well, let's get off to the next one. See what we got. Alright. This is killer. I've already had a chance to look at it. I am stoked. This is awesome. Um, got another button. And I was only down probably uh, maybe about 7-8 inches. And uh it's just cool. Um, this is about 20, 21 millimeters. <sighs> Shank is folded over just a bit. Not too bad, but it's still there. I can see the remnants of a back mark through the dirt. Can't make it out, but I know it's there. But this is sweet. Check this out, guys. Look at that. That is a 1820s to 1830s militia button. And it's got an eagle sitting sideways with a shield with stars and bars in it. That is just the bomb. And there should be, I think, either seven or nine stars above the top. Maybe a couple more than that. But there was a bunch of variations to this button. But that is cool. That is cool. I made my day right there. All right, well, I'll get this thing cleaned up after I get back to the house and uh, see if we can't get a back mark off of it. And I can get you guys some more detail on uh, on who made this thing. All right, that is awesome, guys. Killer find there. All righty, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I have been fighting the mosquitoes and the gnats, so I just went to dig in um, just to get some holes dug because I'm getting ready to get out of here. But anyhow, I ended up picking up two more buttons here. It's pretty cool. Both civilians. That's more like a coin type. You can see the thickness of that one. And then this other one here, and it looks like I actually might be some thread on the back of that. So. That is cool. I can see it right there around the shank. And then picked up this musket ball. So all in all, not too bad. Got a couple bullets and stuff here. Let me um, grab this other stuff that I got. Anyhow. So we ended up with all of this. Oh, let's see. Some flat buttons. Got one, two, three, four flat buttons. Got one musket ball there, got the pistol ball, uh, one ball button, uh, this beautiful colonial rosette, I love that. I'm not sure what this piece is to, that might be furniture tack, like a back and plate to a dresser or something like that. Oh, uh, got the toe tap, and then this cool militia button. That is sweet. Alrighty, well, I'm hot, the bugs are getting me. And like I said, I don't normally hunt this time of year. 
So we're going to pack it up and take this stuff home and clean it up. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys. Well, I am going to wrap it up. Uh, it's kind of getting cloudy out here now. It looks like it might rain. Um, haven't gotten any ticks on me yet, but I don't know. Piles of ants I had to avoid in between sets and stuff. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up. We'll get some pictures at the end. And as always, I want to thank everybody for stopping in, checking us out. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. And then make a couple trips this summer, maybe into the water, something like that. But anyhow, uh, again, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one, man. Thanks for tuning in. See y'all shortly.